<laughs> Yo, what's going on YouTube? I'm really excited about filming this video. I hope that this video could be useful for you. As you can see in the title, this video is about how to survive winter as a skateboarder. I really hope that this video can come in handy for a lot of skaters out there because these are tips that I used to not know, kind of hearing these things from other skaters, kind of just trying new things and seeing what works for myself. These are seven tips that I found that really help you to skate better in the winter. I live in Seattle and around here, we are notorious for our rain. And even just right now, it gets really hard to skate around here in the winter. And we actually lose a lot of friends due to the weather. A lot of skaters, they go inside for the winter. In the winter, you're lucky if you can even go to the skate park and if you do there's a lot less people there anyways I'm gonna go over seven different things we're gonna get into the video hopefully these things are gonna help you no matter where you live just get through the winter like it's nothing next time the Sun comes out you're gonna be even better than you were last summer tip number one I'm gonna go to C5 today and we're gonna jump into it with the all together skate park to pick this board up and I wanted something a little smaller for flip tricks but without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and share tip one with you that is to be patient and always warm up the air is cold the wind makes it harder getting up and going is gonna take longer than it does in the summer. Get the blood flowing and just have fun. See what's working well that day. Sometimes certain tricks are gonna stand out as easier for a certain session. Some things it's just not working and it's not the day for it. It's an uphill battle but eventually you will get warmed up. For each one of these points, I'm also gonna illustrate it with a little bit of a skate session. I'm gonna wander around the parking garage here and skate everything I can find that isn't flat ground. And then once I get warmed up and get the blood flowing and all that, I'm gonna work on my new YouTube video, which isn't out yet, 250 flat ground skateboarding tricks. I'm gonna post that one when I get 2,500 subscribers. I'm getting really close to that. Make sure you subscribe. Before I go and film a YouTube video that I'm really excited about, I gotta be patient and warm up and really see if today's even the day for it. So I'm gonna be skating Switch and Nollie for this session. For this board, the tail is actually really small. The nose is a lot bigger, so I'm gonna mainly be skating the nose for this session. switch skating beforehand so I feel like I'm dialed and ready to go. Also warmed up now. Take the hoodie off. Extra tip, always bring layers. <laughs> Tricks done, 10% progress on my video, super stoked about it. Who knows, I might not have made that much progress. I wasn't taking my time and really getting dialed in. And I'm gonna go ahead and send you over to future Michael for tip number two. It's kind of lightly raining in a bunch of different places around Washington. Here at Delridge today, it said it was gonna be sunny and zero chance of precipitation. Continue to adapt and find other possible ways to skate. It does look like even here at Marginal, it's pretty wet and gonna be at a new spot now and it'll probably be altogether skate park or maybe
glad that we made it happen today. Everyone was killing it skating, and I'll see you guys in the next session. This tip is something that's so essential. You can apply it to skateboarding no matter what season of the year it is. But in winter especially, you do have to keep this in mind because like I said, a lot of people quit skating in the winter. Skating literally, genuinely gets harder in the winter. It's colder and your body takes longer to warm up. And it's really nice when you have another friend to skate with because the energy does multiply. It's exponential. And skateboarding is definitely meant to be enjoyed with other people. And I would definitely recommend to not make skating about yourself. The sessions I've had with my friends have been by far the most memorable. And those are memories that I'm gonna look back on for a long time because you know, those are shared with other people. The solo sessions are fun, you need those as well. But if you don't have friends that you're meeting up with and you're getting stoked with, skating is just gonna be an uphill battle. Today, to illustrate this point and really drive it in deeper, I'm gonna be meeting up with a couple friends. Let's go ahead and go make a memory today with the boys. Since we're here, Gabe and I are gonna do one trick each. Bruh. We had a ton of fun in there. So many tricks done on and off the camera. Groms, dude. Yeah, we saw a couple groms in there. Some of the youngins that are like known in the Seattle area, you know, board clapping at everybody's tricks. It was just good vibes. I thought some kid had a turkey grind today. Like just point your toe and then land on it instead of like trying to go over it and you'll get it. Nice. And dude, almost first try. Nice, dude. <laughs> That's why it's really good to skate with people, whether it's winter, summer, any time of the year, skating is gonna be better with friends. Today it was too cold to skate in Seattle. It's perfect for snowboarding. So I'm here first day of the season, got my pass, and I'm gonna try to bring you guys along for the ride. If you're not skateboarding, it's a great way to keep your legs in shape and stay active. Since you would kind of just be staying at home anyways, it's great to be able to get out and use similar muscle and getting comfortable with speed, going down bigger drops. It's much safer to do that out here in the snow. It's really nice as you get gorgeous views while you're snowboarding as well, so that's a bonus. Not enough skateboarders talk about the benefits of snowboarding. I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that today. Let's go ahead and hop into it.
All right guys, ready for the next session. So for tip number five, it's pretty simple. For this tip, you have to be willing to search. Street spots that are undercover, it could be skate parks under a bridge, it could be indoor skate parks. Some spots, like if they rain too much, they get completely rained out. You kind of have to get a good eye developed on the weather, learn all the spots, learn all the skate parks, and just do some Google searches. Ask other skaters is a really good tip. Sometimes you have to make a little bit of a drive, but it's always gonna be worth it. Today, to illustrate this point, I'm gonna go meet up with my friend Alex. The skate park that we're visiting is actually like a super cool skate park. The ground is a little wet right now, so it's gonna be the perfect park to skate today. Right here, there's no cover, and uh, that's why you see the big puddle. It's too rainy to skate today. Underneath it, we have an undercover skate park. There's more things than you think out there, and some of these things secretly stay dry very well. to skateboard. It was gonna rain all day today and then I checked the weather this morning. Seattle was wet so I had to come out here a little bit more of a drive to get some sunlight. This day wouldn't have happened at all if I didn't check the weather and if I wasn't trying to seek out skateboarding. Sometimes you have to really be eager to skate and really seek out a session. Also, my friend Gabe is here giving a skate lesson and he's dropping some knowledge on the kids. and went way faster than I expected. How'd it go, Gabe? Good. I heard some wisdom dropping in the background. I was like trying my tricks, hearing Gabe's encouragement in the background. I can't complain at all because I almost didn't skate, period. So I'm very glad I checked the weather and hit up Gabe and we were able to make it happen. And the 
last tip is really simple. It's just take a break because there's a lot of other things in life that are important. I recently just moved and I got a new job and I just really wanted to find my grounding in a new place that I'm living. That stuff is a priority to me. I think mental health is really important. Skateboarding should not be prioritized above that. The world keeps turning. It's not all about skateboarding. And looking back a couple years ago, I remember just taking a break from YouTube completely because I was just so busy with other things. You don't always owe the internet every explanation. You step back into it, you might actually be refreshed. Skating well takes passion. You gotta be excited and stoked about what you're doing if you really wanna push yourself. That's it. Also, I have the drone here because you guys are a great audience and you deserve drone footage. Good job, Karate Kid. sum it up, skateboarding is always worth it. To go out and do it regardless of the circumstances, to still just go out there and get it done. And to be able to figure out an efficient way to do it in a way to keep at it and be consistent with it. Even if you don't live in Seattle and you're somewhere else on the globe, I'd recommend putting in some thought into how you can make skateboarding easier for you in the winter. Just a little bit goes a long way and it sucks when people quit. It's not that skateboarding is impossible in the winter, it's just that you have to be a little bit more creative with it. And I think if you can do that in the winter, you're gonna enjoy skating in the summer even more. And that's kind of the mentality that I think is gonna keep you skating all year round. It might be hard right now, but skateboarding is always worth it. And never forget that summer is gonna come back around. Stay at it, it will be worth it, I promise.
unless you live in Alaska or something and it's just winter all year round, then you're gonna have to travel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great one. I really do hope this helps. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.